Hi, I'm drawing some cells. Want to see? Did you know that you are the lucky owner of 37 trillion high performance cells? Oh, you don't know what a cell is? A cell is an itty bitty building block that stacks together with other cells to make dogs and humans and everything else that's alive. My name is Carolyn Fisher. I'm an illustrator and author of Books for Kids. Today, we're going to investigate cells by making a collage of a one-celled creature called the amoeba. But first, I'm going to explain a couple things. Plus, stay tuned to find out about an art contest and book giveaway. See details in the video description below. Our bodies are made of cells. And cells are so small that you can't see them unless you use a microscope. Some animals and plants are made of many cells. Some animals and plants are made of just one cell. Today, we're going to make a collage of a one-celled creature, the amoeba. The amoeba cell is mostly a blob made of jelly with a membrane wrapped around it so the insides don't leak out. Amoebas often live in ponds river bottoms, mud, and people. A striking thing about the amoeba is that it can poke out its blobby body in any direction to make something like an arm. These blobby projections are called pseudopods, which come from the Greek words for false feet. The amoeba can use its pseudopods to crawl or to eat. This amoeba is using its pseudopods to eat a bacterium. Inside the amoeba cell, there are some other little cell parts. We're just going to draw three of them today. The nucleus is the command center of the cell. It holds instructions called DNA for making copies of the cell. The mitochondria make energy for the cell. There are thousands of mitochondria in the cell, but we're just going to draw a few. The ribosomes are builders that make protein, which is used to construct cells. So that's an amoeba. Now that we know what an amoeba cell is, we're going to make some amoeba art using a coffee filter and collaged paper. We'll need to get a few things. For the list of materials and instructions, check the notes below this video. To make my amoeba art, I'm going to find some construction paper, a glue stick, some scissors, a hole punch, and some washable markers. Then I'm going to grab a coffee filter and a spray bottle. First, I'm going to scribble some messy polka dots on my coffee filter with a washable marker. I could make dots or any other shape. Then, I'm going to take my spray bottle and spray the filter. You can see that the marker colors will start to spread and run. If you can't find a spray bottle, you can wet your coffee filter with a paintbrush or a sponge. And you could use paint if you can't find washable markers. Let your coffee filter dry. Use a hair dryer if you want it to dry faster. Get your scissors and cut out your blobby amoeba shape. Then glue it to the construction paper. I found some scrap paper and cut out a circle for the nucleus. I used a post-it to make the mitochondria. Mitochondria have these little folded shapes inside them, so I'll draw those with a marker. Then I'll use a hole punch to make some ribosomes. And that's it. I got the idea to make amoeba art when I read this book. Cells 
an owner's handbook was written and illustrated by me. So if you'd like to know more about cells, check the book out from your library. Which brings me to the Amoeba Art Contest and Book Giveaway. Post or email a photo of your Amoeba art by Thursday, July 9th, 2020 to win a copy of my cells book plus a shout out in my follow-up video on July 13th. You can see the contest details and links in the video description below. So that's it. Now go make an amoeba and then send it to me. A big thank you to the Rosé Foundation for their support of the Wordsmith With Us videos that connect Alberta authors, artists, and storytellers with kids. And thank you to the Young Alberta Book Society, who organized the YABS TV project. If you're a teacher or librarian, follow YABS on YouTube and social media to find out how to bring Alberta authors into your schools and libraries. Subscribe to the Young Alberta Book Society YABS TV channel to see video tutorials from dozens of authors, illustrators, and storytellers. Thanks, YABS. And thanks, kids.